Hi students, this is Madhu Dharmapuri and I welcome you all for the electrostatic lecture number 3 in which we are going to discuss about electric field and electric field lines. In the previous video lecture of mine, I have explained what is Coulomb's law. So what was it? It describes the interaction between two point charges. How one point charge exerts force on another point charge. That was discussed. If you have not watched it, please do watch it so that it will be easy for you to understand this lecture. So what Coulomb's law tells us that basically how one point charge exerts force on another point charge. So interaction between two point charges. But most important point here is they do not interact directly. Any two charges cannot interact directly. This is very very important point. If they cannot interact directly, then how would this force results? How one charge exerts force on another charge? The answer is electric field. One point charge interacts with another point charge via electric field. Via electric field. So what is happening here is one charge producing electric field in the space around it and another charge is placed in the electric field produced by the first charge. Then this electric field produced by the first charge exerts force on the second charge placed in it. This is what happening actually. The point charges are not interacting directly but they are interacting via electric field. So electric field is actually exerting force on the second charge. Which electric field? The electric field produced by the first charge is exerting force on second charge if that second charge is placed in this electric field region. So this is how electric field is very very important which leads to force. Okay, so what do we confirm from this discussion now? Every electric charge produce electric field in the space around it. It's a region around a, a charge. That field, that region, that space which can influence the other charge if it is placed in it is called as actually electric field. But how much it is? Up to what distance from the charge that you can uh, calculate by using electric field strength at that particular point. which is vector quantity. We can also calculate how much is it uh, using a scalar quantity like electric potential, but we will uh, discuss about electric potential in the other lecture. But as of now, let us confine our discussion to electric field. Electric field strength by using electric field strength, which is a vector quantity. We can describe or explain how much is the electric field produced by a charge? Okay, so as I said, electric field strength will tell us the electric about the strength of the electric field around the charge. What we can say is, for example, if plus Q is the charge producing some electric field in the space around it. So I am bringing another test positive charge. So moving it 
in the space around this see electric field is produced by this that doesn't mean that q not uh, does not produce electric field it also produces but that dis does not disturb electric this electric field electric field due to q not would not disturb electric field produced by q okay is very very important note and here electric field is produced by q okay so in the electric field produced by q a test unit test positive charge q what is q not here a positive charge test positive charge because we are testing it in the electric field let me name it as test positive charge so then obviously using coulomb's law we can calculate the force between them the force experienced by this q naught will be f e the electrostatic force force exerted on q naught by electric field produced by q okay so then uh, uh, what is the electric field strength electric field strength is electric field strength at any point we denote it with e bar the force experienced by this q not by that test positive charge you can say that force experienced by unit test positive charge electric field strength at any point would be equal to the force experienced by unit test positive charge if q not is 1 coulomb then electric field strength at that particular point would be equal to the force exerted on that charge so general formula is this and what about the direction of electric field and electric force see electric field is leading to the force the interaction between two two charges is because of electric field so what is the point main point here electric field leads to the force okay and most important point about the direction of electric field is electric field is always away from positive charge if positive charge is produced producing electric field if positive charge is producing electric field then electric field direction is always away from it from positive charge okay 
Similarly, if negative charge, because any type of charge can produce electric field. If negative charge is producing electric field, then electric field direction is always towards negative charge. You can say if this is a plus Q the electric field produced by it would be this. If this is minus Q, the electric field produced by this would be this. Okay? So because electric field is leading to the force, then what about the direction of force? What about direction of force? The force direction is always in the direction of electric field if that force is exerted on positive charge. Okay? So let me add one point here. If force is exerted on positive charge, by electric field see so usually electric field strength is uh, called as electric field only do not confuse okay so the if force is exerted on positive charge by electric field then that force is in the direction of electric field In the direction of electric field. How much it would be? F E will be equal to Q naught E if Q naught is the charge experiencing force. Q0 is the positive charge experiencing force. Direct F FE will be in the direction of electric field. Okay. Similarly, if force is exerted on negative charge by electric field, then the force is opposite to the direction of electric field. Okay. So let me write it here. If force is exerted on negative charge by electric field, then that force is opposite to the direction of electric field. F E equal to Q naught E. Q naught here is negative charge experiencing force see magnitude is same but direction is different okay so the direction here is you can take like if this is a plus q electric field direction is this and uh, the minus q naught 
will experience force like this. So this will be magnitude. This also will be magnitude. Here what, how can we write? If this is plus Q, so that electric field is away from it. So if, if plus Q naught is placed, the force will be in the direction of electric field. They are in the same opposite. Most important points. Electric field is always away from positive charge towards negative charge. And force exerted on the positive charge would be in the direction of electric field. And force exerted on the negative charge would be in the dire uh, opposite direction to the electric field. It's very very important points. And uh, now we have uh, uh, came to know that electric field is experiencing, uh, up, uh, exerting force on other charge placed in the electric field, right? So now we will see that using this kind of interaction, uh, using Coulomb's law, acting between uh, the force acting between two point charges, we can calculate the electric field due to point charge. Okay, electric field due to point charge. So where I am going to take one charge plus Q is producing electric field and another charge plus Q naught is placed so that its electric field uh, force, electric force will be this way. So if they are separated by some distance R okay so the electrostatic uh, electric force E Fe on Q naught due to electric field produced by Q is Fe equal to now let me write it as in the, with the direction itself 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q naught by R square from Coulomb's law and we know that electric field strength at any point is force acting on unit positive charge so here q naught is a positive charge that I'm, if, if that is there which means if e equal to f e by q naught then electric field strength would be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square. So this is electric field due to point charge Q. What is this? electric field due to point charge E is produced by this and in that electric field positive test charge is placed so it is experiencing some force and using Coulomb's law we have written the force expression and that force per you, that you know, unit positive charge will give you the electric field strength at that point. So E is the 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square which is electric field due to point charge Q. So this is how we calculate electric field using Coulomb's law. Okay, And most important point about electric field uh, strength 
is if there are two charges and uh, each of them are uh, uh, producing a electric field in the space around them so two charges if there are two charges producing electric field right if e1 is the electric field produced by q1 at a point and if e2 is the electric field produced by q2 at same point remember at same point then net electric field at that point is vector sum of vector sum of individual electric fields is very very important e net if the charge distribution is continuous you can type integration you can you can add the in, uh, electric fields due to every uh, charge okay every small element from that uh, distribution of charge but in general if there are two electric fields at the same point due to two different uh, charges then the net electric field can be written as the vector sum of those two individual electric fields e net equal to e1 plus e2 okay so now we will see about electric field lines so now we will see electric field lines these are imaginary lines drawn in electric field so that the tangent drawn the tangent drawn at every point on this line the tangent drawn at every point on this line gives us direction of electric field at that point the first point And the second one is relative closeness between electric field lines gives us idea about intensity of electric field strength intensity of electric field strength means how much it is if for example if this is an electric field line at every point a tangent is drawn so that it gives you the direction of electric field that that is first point okay 
So the second point is if this is point A and if this is point B, for example, the electric field lines are very close at point A and electric field lines are not close at point B so that you can write this intensity of electric field at point A is greater than intensity of electric field at point B the second one relative closeness between electric field lines gives us idea about intensity of electric field strength if they are very close to each other then the intense electric field strength at that particular point will be more okay now we will see different electric field lines for different uh, types of charges and pairs of uh, charges the electric field lines produced by different types of charges and pairs of charges okay if you see the first picture these are the electric field lines due to a positive charge isolated positive charge and as i said the electric field direction is always away from the positive charge so the electric field lines are going away from the isolated positive charge the arrow mark is going out now if you see this picture this these are the electric field lines due to isolated negative charge now the electric field is always inwards towards the uh, negative charge so the electric field lines are going inside towards the negative charge from these two pictures we can observe one important point that for example if you place a positive charge in the electric field produced by positive charge then that positive charge will move away from it because of the repulsion right if you place positive charge in the electric field produced by negative charge then that positive charge would experience attraction force that would go towards the uh, negative charge so that means you can observe these two lines as you can consider those lines as the path of a positive charge placed in the electric field produced by the charge the path of a positive charge so electric field lines are also defined as the path of the positive charge in the electric field path of the positive charge placed in the electric field if it goes away from the from uh, from the positive charge which produces electric field then the path will be like this and the negative charge would approach uh, if the positive charge would approach negative charge if negative charge is a source of electric field then the electric field lines will be like this so path of the positive charge can be considered as the electric field line okay so now if you see i have taken two charges two opposite charges okay now the electric field lines are going out from positive charge and entering negative charge you see the combination of these two is going out going in okay so arrow mark is towards negative charge or towards from positive charge now this you can see two same kind of charges opposite to this case they are not forming closed loops so from positive charge they are diverging like this from another positive charge they are diverging like this going away from the 
पॉजिटिव चार्ज सिमिलरली दिस सेम काइंड ऑफ चार्जेस बट दिस टाइम नेगेटिव चार्जेस तो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लाइन्स वुड गो इन साइड टूवर्ड्स द नेगेटिव चार्ज जस्ट अपोजिट टू दिस एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट द लास्ट एग्जाम्पल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई हैव टेकन प्लस टू क्यू चार्ज हियर एंड माइनस क्यू चार्ज हियर द मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ द चार्ज इज डिफरेंट टू क्यू एंड क्यू इन दैट केस वॉट हैपन्स इज not all the lines that are coming from the um, big charge entering the small charge for example if 100 lines are coming out from uh, 2q charge then only 50 lines would enter q charge so this is how magnitude of the charge also plays one important role okay so with all these um, discussions and from the pictures that we have seen till now let us try to write some important properties about electric field lines okay very very important properties the first point that we can write is electric field line is an imaginary line drawn in electric field tangent drawn at every point on line gives direction of electric field at that point this line is also a path of positive charge in elect in placed in electric field this line is also path of pos positive charge placed in electric field and the second property that we can write is electric field lines always comes out from positive charge and enters negative charge enter negative charge and they do not stop in the middle space they do not stop in the middle space they come out and they enter negative charge they search for the negative charge okay and the third point is
if there are two charges of unequal magnitude unequal magnitude then not all the lines coming out from big charge enter small charge as i said for example if there are uh, uh, two charges of 2q and q if 100 lines are coming out from 2q plus 2q and minus q only 50 lines would enter that minus q not 100 so that is what this third point talks about okay so the next point we can write is in uniform electric field electric field lines are parallel equidistant and in same direction in same direction in uniform electric field the magnetic electric field lines are parallel equidistant and in the same direction okay and fifth point is electric field lines do not intersect each other they never intersect each other if they intersect if they intersect at intersection point at intersection point electric field would have two directions two directions which is absurd not possible they never intersect each other they never cross each other if if it happens at that intersection point electric field would have two directions which is not possible okay sixth property of electric field lines is electric field lines can never form closed loops that is that is electric field line can never start or end on same charge they never start and end on same charge okay so these are the very very important uh, properties of electric field lines so so far in this lecture we have discussed what is electric field and what is the strength of electric field 
and uh, we have calculated the electric field due to point charge and we have seen what uh, what what are electric field lines and some some pictures of electric field lines for different types of charges isolated charges and pair of charges and finally we have discussed six important properties of electric field lines hope you have understood if you have any doubts regarding this lecture you can put your doubts under the comments section so that i would be ready to solve your doubts thank you very much